Hey guys, welcome to Fishing in the Midwest. Today I'll be ordering, I believe, $65 worth of equipment on TackleWarehouse.com. Some interesting stuff that I'd like to show you guys, some stuff I've, I've never tried before. Again, this whole year is about trying new and different things. I've been bass fishing for a little less than a year now, so mainly tackle, what types of stuff to use, is still one of those things that I'm in the process of learning of. You know, I know how to catch them, all that kind of stuff, but I really want to get to know the lures around me. I want to, I want to try out every you know, sample of lure, if I like it, I'll keep purchasing it, and, and you know, this is an example of some of the stuff that I'll do, um, I'll be doing this year, probably a little bit of next year, but I'll kind of have a better idea, so just to show you guys, um, stuff I'll be purchasing, I'm just going go to go get to the cart right here, um, some spinnerbaits, two, two types of spinnerbaits, Santane, uh, lures, spinnerbait, which is in a tilapia DBL color, it's like a wild silver gold kind of color. It, it, it's pretty interesting. It's willow blade. I mainly fish willow blade. Sometimes I'll fish Colorado blade depending on um, what lake I'm fishing. But willow blade is a great application just to throw in weeds, uh, kind of weed edges, stuff like that. So you can pretty much fish a willow blade anywhere, unlike a specifically type of like a Colorado blade. I wouldn't normally fish near weeds. You know, it it'd get caught up pretty easily. Um, also, I've got, I bought, I purchased the uh, pepper spinnerbait. The chartreuse white, it's a 3 8 ounce, both of them are 3 8 ounce. I've used both of these type of jigs, the Santane jigs and the pepper jigs. Happy with both the jigs, so I decided to step it up and see how the see how the, uh, the spinnerbaits were. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And the uh, jig that I purchased right here, which is the Derek Remitz football jigs made by Omega Tackle. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about Mega, and what really caught my eye with this is the fact that the type of hook I really love the wide gap hooks. Any type of jig with a wide gap hook, you can't go wrong with. I've personally have gone out and used just a regular, um, regular bend hook. I've been fishing, missed like a ton of fish, maybe hooked two or three, and switched to the wide gap, and I hooked absolutely every bite. I've stuck every fish that that you know tapped on the jig, and I decided to try this Omega jig out. It looks pretty cool, you know. Um, this time of year is great for football head finesse fishing. And I want to pick up some before it gets too deep into November. And I'll fish pretty much up until early no uh, December until the ice starts getting pretty thick. So I'm going to back this up real quick. We got some Jackal 4 inch craws and green pumpkin candy right there. That's the color I purchased. And uh, this is a lure I've never tried before. Heard a lot of great things about it. You know, I, I watch a lot of Japanese videos, Japanese bass fishing videos, and they're always featuring Jackal. And this is one of the lures that they're featuring. I thought about buying the cover craw, but it was just a little bit too high priced, and I wanted to get a couple of these as well. The other color I got in was in a craw uh, pumpkin pepper, so that should be pretty cool. I also got a jackal flick shake and uh, cinnamon salad. It's a four inch, four point eight inch, and I've also got this the Berkeley Power Hog five inch pour watermelon shad. I really like this color and this type of lure. I don't fish a lot of hogs, um, a lot of like creature baits. And I heard a lot of great things about this. The price is exceptionally good. You know, 350 can't go wrong with that. I like Berkeley, honestly. I don't like all their stuff, but this seems pretty cool. And the price is good. The colors are like look right, and I think it'll be good bait um, as the year starts ending down and next year as well. Uh, I got a Huddleston in yellow perch color. Uh, I used I've I I do have another Huddleston which I believe is in just a regular phantom blue green. No, no, it's not. It's in the phantom smoke. This is the one that I picked up earlier on, but I decided to get the yellow perch, a little bit more na natural color, the six inch, and um, I don't know. I like the color, I like the eyes. Of course, I've used them before. I've caught a few two pounders, but nothing huge, and I decided to get a little bit more natural color. So there's there's that. I've also got a, a pepper football head jig. Uh, that's the same company as make the spinner baits. As you can see, it's got that wide gap hook. Great, great lure. Um, a little bit heavier ones. I believe that that's a one ounce, a three eighths ounce, and uh, the other one was another one ounce. And uh, those are pretty good price too. They're two nineteen, which is a really good price for these jigs. Uh, I got a Gamagatsu drop shot hook right here. Uh, the red doesn't really do anything. It was just kind of a low price on them, so I decided to pick it up. I've got a Provider painted impact drop shot and a green pumpkin. It's a one fourth ounce. And it looks like I can get in and out of those rocks pretty easily. It doesn't look like a, 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 a drop shot that'll get hung up. And that's one thing you want to look at. If you're drop shot fishing, you don't want to get a weight that'll get hung up a lot. Um, I'm kind of tentative with fishing the, uh, the really long, skinny drop shot weights just because I can see those actually getting caught more because they get slide under a rock and it'll be kind of hard because they're long, they're elongated. 
and they get stuck pretty easily. And I don't like the fact that they fall down um, when you're fishing. This looks pretty nice. So I picked up that as well. This is something really interesting that I've never used before. This is the Robo Worm Robo Tail in a 7.5 inch uh, size. Pretty good price for the amount. Six pack is like 380, uh, a little more than that, 375. And I got that color that you're looking at right there, which is the Aaron's Magic Red in uh, what was that black flake right there. I really like that color, that purple, that, like bubblegum purple that goes in, in between that tail. I can see really getting the bass's attention. Carolina rig in this. I don't like the Carolina rig with huge worms. A lot of people think if you're going to Carolina rig, you got to use like a 10 inch, a 13 inch worm. That's absolutely ridiculous. I, I've Carolina rig with uh, speed crawls and have caught fish before. Carolina rig is just basically a rig to get that bait floating, you know, up in the fish's face, uh, above the, um, the, uh, the bottom of the water, excuse me, bottom underwater. And, uh, and it's just, it's, it's, it's a technique more than a type of technique to use for like a really long worm. You know, like I said, I'll use, I'll, I'll drop, uh, excuse me, I'll, uh, Carolina rig with craws, stuff like that. So, um, I'm interested in trying this 7.5 inch and uh, a couple other things I'll talk about. I'm going to talk about Asakura jigs. Now, um, I'm working with, uh, Jack Wackerman. And who was the uh, the owner of uh, Secure Jigs, and he's he's been kind of communicating back. We've we've kind of been communicating back and forth, um, and he's he's sounds like he's going to send me some equipment, some stuff so I can review it for his uh, website. But right here is his website. Really great lures. Look at that detailed jig head. I mean, you've got the scales right there. This is just one of the examples of his swim jigs. That uneven eye that looks really natural. Their colors are just absolutely awesome. These are just just some of their colors. I mean. Look at I mean look at all these colors. You've got the um the Okeechobee Craw. Everyone loves the Okeechobee Craw. Uh it's the sexy shad, which is their kind of version of the sexy shad. It's almost like a neon uh teal blue with a black, and I absolutely love this. And um really great guy. And uh sounds like sounds like, you know, I'm gonna start uh getting getting the word out on some of his baits. And uh, I'm really happy with his stuff. I've used a lot of his equipment before. And just to show you one of the other jigs that he's got, it's actually like on the first page of the flipping jigs, right there. A lot of people saying that this is a swim jig. This is not their swim jig. This is their flipping jig. Just because it's got that type of nose doesn't mean it's specifically for swim jig. And yeah, you can use it for swim jig, but specifically for pitching. And um, you know, it's it's a really cool jig. I've got it in the black and blue color, and the Okeechobee crock color. Absolutely awesome jigs. Uh, like I said, it's got the wide gap hook. That skirt is just. Oh my gosh, it's, it's just amazing. Their jig head styles are, are really detailed, really unique. And I'm looking forward to, uh, like I said, working with them. Another uh, website that I want, you to check you got, I want you guys to check out is Prairie State Outdoors. If you guys are from Illinois, are just in, interested in learning tips, tricks, hunting, fishing, anything like that, please check out this website. Absolutely awesome. I, I checked it out um, about a week ago, and I was really happy with their stuff. You know, they've got all these reports, people are posting stuff left and right on this, telling you about local lakes around the area, all throughout Illinois. It's not a specific area, not like northern or southern Illinois. I mean, it's all around Illinois. As you can see, one of my videos is, is uh, featured on there as well. And um, like I said, the editor for this, for our Prairie State Outdoors is, again, a really nice guy. We were communicating and I asked him if I could put some of my videos on his on his website, and he said, yeah, sure, go right ahead. And um, and I think and I'm going to be helping out with these guys with a little bit, too. So check out Price Date Outdoors and Asakura Jigs and, excuse me, Asakura Baits. And, um, you know, of course, Tag Warehouse, a lot of great stuff there. And uh, if you guys are looking for the right equipment. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys stay tuned and keep on watching Fishing Midwest.